<laughs> I literally just filmed the outro for last week's video, so I, that's kind of funny. I'm going to Chicago, gonna go there for about a half a day, maybe just a few hours to visit a friend. I actually have no idea what we're doing yet, and that's the fun part about it. It's just gonna be a spontaneous trip to Chicago. You guys see it, right? Merch! The link is in the description. Make sure to go get some. I really appreciate it if you do. All right, back to the video. I'm just coming from visiting my little brother in Illinois. All of that's in last week's video, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. We're gonna start our drive to Chicago. See you guys there. So I'm waiting for my friend Adrian to come outside right now. Oh, there he is. Dude, you live in such a nice neighborhood. Let's pop inside. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Dude, it's good to see you. I'm in this little cave. You know, these are like the classic, like this is what I saw in Brooklyn a lot when I went. These types of homes. Well, typically, you're not going to get something this size. And you're not going to get something with like an open layout. Like yeah. This. You know what I mean? Because it feels like a lot more space than it really is. Just because <laughs> yeah. you have walls blocking off space. Yeah. Wow. So it's customary yeah. that when you come to my place, you play a game of foosball. I got you. Yeah. Okay. What kind of job are you working? You got a lot of little fancy shirts. Yeah, I work downtown. Uh, you work downtown? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was hard to get up today because I just mm -hmm. need to Quack. catch up, dude. I wake up at like 6.30, <laughs> yeah. 6.40. It's, I'm, I'm too young to be doing that. Dude. I set my alarm for seven. I woke up at seven, turned off the alarm, and then I laid back down thinking, oh, I can just like rest a little bit, like five minutes. Yeah, and then I woke up at like 7.30, I'm like Quack. I gotta go. <laughs> I, I set the alarms for no no reason because I yeah. just hit snooze. Yeah. And then I wake up like 10 minutes right before. <laughs> Uh, the one on the right of it, which is blocked by the sign, is called the St. Regis or the Vista Tower. Mm -hmm. The tallest freestanding tower uh, led by a female architect in the country, in the nation, or in America, wow. in the world. You've done a lot of research on Chicago since you've been here. How long have you been here for? I'm in real estate. I forgot. So I, I kind of yeah. know the area a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do the uh, architecture tour, and you're going to get a good taste of what Chicago has. How long have you been living here? I forgot. Three months. I interned last year. Yeah. And now I am rocking my full-time job, dude. So it yeah. is, I'm not just here, I'm like planted, I'm rooted now. That's, and that's sick. weird to say, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you probably can relate, like once you're out of the comfortable, it's a hell of a transition phase. Man. Oh yeah. It's completely different life. Your, yours more than mine, you've been yeah. uh, traveling, really getting around. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be pulling up to Randolph, West Randolph okay. Street, which is known as Restaurant Bro. Yeah. Which has 40 plus restaurants. This has the highest concentration of Michelin starred restaurants in all of Chicago. Wow. If you have a restaurant and you are big cheese enough, you're going to be opening it in Fulton Market. I'm not gonna lie, like it's very obvious that you're a real estate agent. First. Hamburger University. They have, this is like the headquarters. They have a lot, like this is where their corporate lies. Yeah. And also, you see a McDonald's. Oh, I see it, Hamburger University, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the bottom, there is the International McDonald's. It has Whoa. all the international foods you could get, like a Malaysian mango. What do they have, like the flurry? You can get like all the crazy <laughs> shit. Yesterday I had China's double Kung Pao chicken sandwich, like just what some crazy hell? shit. I know, yeah, you should definitely visit it. That's insane. God, you wait for it. I love this guy. Wait for it. What are you talking about? Is it? Are we following? Whoa. What? I was not expecting that. I know. I know. It just blends in. He just opened up like the cabinet. That's so cool. I was not expecting that. Not bad. Me and Adrian decided to go to this brunch place in pretty much downtown Chicago. It's beautiful. Look at this view. And we just got our food. Brunch, breakfast, sort of, burritos. They look amazing. 
John Hancock building. Very old. So we're about to go to the top floor. Right. Welcome to the signature room. The restaurant Chicago looks up to. 94, 95, 96. Pretty good. Nobody. It's like nobody. <laughs> We're so high, I don't have internet service. You don't? I, I don't, don't either! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> Damn, so that's really where you work. Okay. <laughs> like, you looked all oh. professional. <laughs> there's a cloud bar, and there's a signature room. And they charge for one of them. I think oh. that's how they get people. Yeah. Looks so fancy right now. <laughs> This is just I'm, I'm on the top of the tower eating a moose cake. That reminds me of a familiar video. This man Adrian got a to-go box of ice cream. A to-go box. <laughs> so extra. <laughs> now this is the part of the video where Adrian and I got into a deep talk about jobs and life. I hope you enjoy this. But like, if I go back home in Detroit, people like, like, people oh, will like, look at me and be like, what's he doing? Oh, he's vlogging. Oh my god. In New York, they just walk right by. They don't care. <laughs> Although, I mean, I have like, some people have asked, like, oh, yeah, what do you do? What's with the camera? And I'll tell them. They think that's cool. I haven't run into one person yet that hasn't thought, like, travel vlogging is awesome. It's a, such a change up. It's it is a change up. Like, I dropped out of college. So that's like a, a, a difference already. Not like what everybody else is doing. They go to college, get a job, whatever. No bad thing towards that but for me I like the uncertainty in life of like the risk taking I never want to work a normal job I don't have anything against normal jobs but like I would rather just take the risk do a YouTube channel have fun travel something artistically, something artistically pleasing this is like my own business so that's like the, the fun of it I get to do my own thing I make my rules <laughs> drop everything that's what I did it's everything's pros and cons yeah you gotta have a plan for it too like I planned dropping out a year in advance planned all the vlogging stuff. I had the camera six months before I started vlogging. I got the editing done before I ever started editing, like, for real for YouTube. I, I studied all of it while I was still in school. Instead of doing homework, I was studying editing. I was watching YouTube videos. Paved my own path, and like, whatever I do, how, however much effort I put into it, I'll, I'll receive a reward back. I'd yeah. rather fall on my face and do something fun, <laughs> and something you can look back on, like, throw your money into a business, you know, yeah, and start yeah, a yeah. restaurant. If it fails, then you had a period in your life in which you had fun, and yeah. you tried something new. I'm sad. I, Right out of college, I just started working, you know what I mean? Yeah. So now I'm already locked down. Yeah. I have my anchor around my uh, ankle. Yeah. So I'm hoping next time I start my next job, I'll ask for six months off and I'll do my, like, go crazy phase or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. But like, go, like, just backpacking or road tripping or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Live in another country. Live for in like another months. country for a few months. I actually like real estate. Real estate's a cool business to get into. Like, you're going out, you're showing places, you're seeing things. Like, in your own city, especially in a city like Chicago, you're seeing stuff. But I don't know if I could ever, like, like, I want my own schedule. You won't be getting it. Yeah, I know. Like, that's why I like YouTube. It's like, I, like, I'll stay consistent each week, but on the side, still making money. Like, working Jimmy John's. Making more than I spend on my trip. Jimmy and John's delivery is good. <laughs> That's the situation I'm in. It's like just working when I can when I'm home and then going out on trips, making it back when I get back. Dude, you can yeah. have a trip for not that much money at all. Oh, yeah. No, each of my trips have been like New York under 500. Like I stayed with somebody in New York. That helps a lot. And it's more fun. You see people that you like are friends with or long time friends. Like I haven't seen you in a while. We went on a summer trip, but before that? <laughs> basketball. Basketball back in the day. Michigan, back yeah. in the day. Community center basketball. Exactly. And when I go to Europe, I'll see a lot of my friends that I have in Europe. But that's going to be so much fun because then they're locals. They they know what is there. Yeah.
little boat yeah. in the middle of this. Oh, boat. yeah. Just hanging out by itself. You ever seen, uh, I saw like a, a meme yesterday. I saw that like giant rubber ducky that they released like into the I, ocean. You know what, I, I saw. It's made it. The giant rubber duck is now in the US. The four story tall plastic animal has been floating around the world and it's made its first American appearance in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Like just imagine a giant rubber ducky just like coming, like <laughs> menacing <laughs> rubber ducky coming from the distance. <laughs> rubber <laughs> <laughs> but no, like imagine like you're in the middle of the ocean fishing, you've been out there for a few days and then like I would think I, I'm going crazy. It's like, what's that over there? And you just like get monoculars or something, it's like an actual just giant rubber duck. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the Chicago video. Tune in next week to start off our road trip to Arizona. It's gonna be so exciting, I'm so excited for it. You guys got to come with us, 96 stories up in this video. I gotta say thank you to Adrian for showing me around thank going you. to the cool brunch spot, seeing the tower and everything. I've known him for like, since I was like 15 years old. <laughs> basketball days, big time. Pro uh, basketball, yeah, yeah, TCC. Yeah. Thank you for having me dude, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, hell of a Sunday, and yeah. I look forward to seeing the Arizona trip. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Do you wanna shout out like Instagram? Jelly underscore neck, okay. jelly underscore <laughs> Neck, I'll put that right here. Follow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Peace out.